Hello, I'm back. We are now on slide six where we left off. I added a picture here from Encyclopedia Britannica from your launch pad having to do with the terracotta soldiers. So now I need to do some editing and add some more information from my notes. The terracotta soldiers of China, terracotta should be capitalized in soldiers because that's the name of this famous place, terracotta soldiers of China. China is the name, proper noun name of a country. The terracotta soldiers of China were created about 2000 years ago. Oh, looks like I have a spelling error, two finger click. Emperor Shi Huangdi was the emperor who ordered that the terracotta soldiers, I, again, I have extra capital letters that I should not have, terracotta soldiers capitalized. Emperor Shi Huangdi should also be capitalized. Emperor Shi Huangdi was the emperor who ordered that the terracotta soldiers be built. The terracotta, I keep doing this, I'm going to go Control F and I'm going to look for Kata. I even misspelled it in my search. Uh, so I need to change it here, but I didn't use it anywhere else. So I'll close that box. Remember, Control and F gives you something you can search for in your whole page or your whole document. And then you can make all the changes at once. The terracotta soldiers, I'm going to capitalize soldiers to be consistent with what I've been doing all along. Terracotta soldiers capitalized, terracotta soldiers capitalized, terracotta soldiers, which I spelled wrong. I called them soliders. Soldiers. The terracotta soldiers were built. Again, I have I misspelled this. I'm curious, the computer thinks I misspelled terracotta, so two finger click. Hmm. I'm going to change all my terracottas to one word, terracotta. That could very well be the way it's supposed to be spelled. The terracotta soldiers, so now I'm consistent across all three of them. The terracotta soldiers of China, I made terracotta one word. Terracotta soldiers were built as party. Whoa, something doesn't sound right, as party. That doesn't sound like much of a party, that sounds like a lot of work. The terracotta soldier were, soldiers were built as part of an army to protect Shi Huangdi in his afterlife. Shi Huangdi is the name of that emperor. That should be capitalized, but nothing else in this part of the sentence should be. He was, I'll put a period, he was very concerned about living forever and wanted to stay as the emperor forever, comma. So here's one of our fanboys conjunctions, not capitalized. It's just combining two simple sentences. So he built an army to protect himself. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. So he built ah, so he built an army to protect himself. Shi Huangdi, hmm, I have spelled it two different ways. I'm gonna have to look that up. Well, I did a little bit of research. I looked back in Encyclopedia Britannica and I found that Shi Huangdi, which I've been using, should actually be Din Shi Huangdi, and each should be capitalized. So emperor is capitalized because it's the first word in the sentence. Qin Shi Huangdi, the Q, the S, and the H are all capitalized. I'm going to take that same piece there and control C, and I'm going to paste it wherever I used his name again. Let's see if I used his name anymore in here. There we go. Control V. Okay, and all those are capitalized. He was very concerned about living forever. Notice I'm reading aloud and I'm listening to myself. You can also listen to the computer. He was very concerned about living forever and wanted to stay as the emperor forever. Hmm, I use forever twice here. Maybe he wanted to stay, maybe I'll take forever out of here. Very concerned about living forever and wanted to stay as the emperor. My comma there. So I didn't, I took forever out because I put it in twice. So he built an army to protect himself. Shi Huangdi, I think I'll put his, I guess what would be his first name in here. 
Qin Shi Huangdi, was an emperor who joined the sections of the Great Wall to one great wall among many other accomplishments. Okay, Great Wall is capitalized and his name is capitalized. Nothing else should be. So then I go to my notes and see what else. I'm in the wrong part of the notes. I'm going to go back to this page. So some other interesting information about the Great Wall. Because I started to write my paragraph more about Qi Xing Huangdi. So now I need to get back to my topic. Some of the army don't have something. There were something, something that. Yeah, I see this about wanting to live forever. We put that in someplace else. Whoever took these notes, if you take notes and can't make sense of what they say after you've taken notes, you have to. Go back and look at where you got that information. There are several words here I cannot make sense of. Okay? So if these are your notes, or you have notes like these, and you can't read what you've written and turn it into sentences, then you need to go back and fix your notes and get more notes or change these notes to get notes to replace these or change these notes. So I'm going to go back to my text. There should definitely be more here. This is not done yet but I did edit what I had. So I go on to the next slide. The next slide, let's look at our directions. This is the document, Famous Place Project. So the next slide should be slide seven, culture. Type up a few short sentences about the culture of the country your famous place is located in. So we go back to this and I look at my notes. I'm gonna going to go into the notes to this page. So some people may have two or three topics. This is based on two topics. I think this is supposed to be sport. That's one of your topics over here, sport. It's in sight, spell it right. So this paragraph will be about sports and schools. We need a topic sentence for our two topics. Let's go over here and write a topic sentence. First, we'll put a title up here. Sports and schools in China. In is not an important word, and is not an important word, but sports and schools are topics of this slide, and China is the name of a country, so they should all be capitalized. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take write a topic sentence from my topics. Sports. and schools are both important parts of Chinese culture. If it's in sight, spell it right. Sports is in your notes, spell it correctly. Schools in your notes, spell it correctly. Over here, you should check what you spelled here and what you wrote there are both important parts of Chinese culture. Chinese should be capitalized. It's the name of their culture. And the word culture is on this page. Cultural. And in your assignment page is the word culture, I believe. Culture, right here. So if you have it in sight, because you have these three things out in front of you, the directions and your notes, you should be spelling it right. So let's go back to the notes. We now have our topic sentence. We'll start out with sports. The Frost, this might be the first superstar. I think it's the first superstar was Ming. There should always be a last name. This doesn't have a lot of meaning without a, a full name there. Um, but let's turn this into a sentence and then the person who does this can do their editing or I can look up a first name. Ming, and I would put a blank here, maybe that's his first name, maybe that's his last name, was the first sports star in China. I don't know that that's true, but perhaps the information that the student read said that. Ming blank was the first, or it could be blank Ming, was the first sports star in China. 
Let's look at the notes. It doesn't mention the sport, though, at all that he was in. He was in a time in the United States. I think this is trying to say he played Ming. Now, here you could use just his last name. If that's his last name. Ming played for a time in the United States in the NBA. Now, maybe not everything is in the notes. You can add details you know about from what you read into your sentence. Some of this was not in that notes. Ming played for a time in the United States. Um, Kide watch, it might be kids, might be an S. Kids watch television and learn how to play, I'm guessing this is how to play basketball. Many Chinese children, see I'm adding details, I'm not saying kids, I'm saying children. I'm adding Chinese children. Many Chinese children watched him play basketball on TV, that's capitalized, and started learning how to play. I'm going to fix some of my spelling as I go. Let's read what I have. Sports and schools are both important parts of Chinese culture. Ming was the first sports star in China. Ming played for a time in the United States in the NBA. So I'm going to put a, a fanboys conjunction in there. Get rid of my period and get rid of the capital M. So many Chinese children watched him play basketball on TV and started learning how to play. That's all the information I have on sports. Now I go on to schools. I got to kind of move into that idea. All children also go to schools. So that moves from the children we were talking about in the first couple sentences to those same children going to schools. All children also go to schools. And I look back at my notes. They have a lot of pressure to do well in school. Um, children in China are often under much pressure to do well. Let's look back at the notes and see if this lines up with what was in the notes. They have a lot of pressure to do well in school. Because those might be words right from the text. So we want to put them in our own words. All children also go to schools. Children in China are often under much pressure to do well. I think there's repetitiveness here. All children also go to schools. I think we're going to put but. But they are... Get rid of a lot of those extra words. They are often under much pressure to do well, period. So I combine those first ideas, the, the connection between the two parts of my paragraph, and the idea of a lot of pressure on kids into one sentence. They spend more time than other countries. They spend more time now your notes don't say that but it probably means because we're talking about schools schools they spend more time in school than many other countries period so this is the end of this one you would put a picture in you have to look uh, in the culture grams to see what pictures there were of Chinese sports or schools or both. You're not going to do slide number eight. You're stopping at slide number seven. Make sure you edit your work. Let's indent this small paragraph. Put a picture in it. Change the size of the font to make it larger. That's up to you.